Good morning, everyone. So our topic for today is all about arithmetic sequence. So last time we discussed about sequence. So um, and series. Okay. So now we are going to discuss about arithmetic sequence. So do you have any idea what is arithmetic sequence? So now let's define what is arithmetic sequence. Okay, so an arithmetic sequence, also known as an arithmetic progression, is a sequence in which any term except the first term can be obtained by adding constant number to the preceding term. So when we say constant number, so it is all the, it is a real number. Okay, so it can be negative, it can be positive, or it can be um, fractions or irrational numbers. Okay, next. So the constant number in the arithmetic sequence is called the common difference or the symbol B between any two consecutive terms or arithmetic sequence. So when we say common difference, the um, in every terms or in a sequence of every terms, dapat po yung middle nila ay may common difference na pareho lang. Okay, hindi mo siya pwedeng tawagin arithmetic sequence kung yung common difference po nila ay magkaiba. So that is just a sequence but not an arithmetic sequence. So when again, so when we say arithmetic sequence, meron po silang common difference. For example, the common difference is 3, okay? The common difference is 2, okay? So the first term up to the last term, their common difference po ay iisa lang po. Common nga po, di ba? So ayan. So in symbol, we have D or the common difference is equal to A sub N minus A sub N minus 1. So when we say A sub, so when we say N for this, the N term of an arithmetic sequence can be expressed generally as A sub N is equal to A sub N minus 1 plus D. So when we say N po, di ba, nung nakaraang topic natin, N is the term. Okay, in a sequence. So the missing term in a sequence. Yung pinapahanap ko na term sa ating sequence. So ito po yung gagamitin natin formula. So we, we will derive this formula to get the other formula or the general rule po na tinatawag natin sa arithmetic sequence with their common difference. So a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1. This is the term followed by the first term plus d. Okay. Next, we have using the formula for a sub n given a sub 1 as the first term, the general rule for arithmetic sequence can be derived as follows. Okay, so um, hindi ko na po nilagay yung derivation po dito. Okay, so kukuha din na po natin yung pinaka-general rule po ng arithmetic sequence. So meron na po tayong isang general rule sa arithmetic sequence or yung tinatawag natin formula for arithmetic sequence. So this is derived as a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus to the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference. So when we say a sub 1, this is the first term of the sequence sequence times the following term of the sequence. Then the common difference nila ay d, where n is the term number or the missing number. Okay? So let's have an example. Let's try uh, to determine whether the given sequence is arithmetic or not. So again, um, as I said a while ago, when we say arithmetic sequence, meron po silang common difference. So kapag wala po silang common difference, then we can say that that sequence is not an arithmetic. Okay, so let's have an example, letter A, 13, 11, 9, and 7. So what do you think is their common difference? So in finding the common difference po, we need to subtract the second term to the first term. Okay, or if we know what is their common difference na po, pwede na po tayo nang add, but... Um, Ang lagi po natin kinukuha ay yung di ba, difference. So, we need to subtract them. Okay. The first term to the, ay, from the second term to the first term. Po. Okay. So, let's have an example for letter A. So, we have 13, 11, 9, and 7. So, this is our, this is a given sequence po or the given set of our sequence. 13, 11, 9, and 7. As you can see po, 
As you can see, 13 is our first term. 11 is the second term. 9 is the third term. And 7 is the third is the fourth term. So, hindi naman po natin hinahanap dito kung ano po yung susunod na term. So, ang, ang, ang ina-ask lang po natin, um, we are going to determine whether the equation or whether the sequence rather is an arithmetic sequence or not. Okay, so now, we are going to use um, subtraction or the operation subtraction po dito. So, we use a squared a sub 2 rather minus a sub 1, we need to find what is their common difference po so that we can say if the sequence is arithmetic or not. So substitute the value a sub 2. This is our a sub 1. Okay, so this is a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. Okay, so our a sub 2 is this, 11. 11 minus a sub 1. So 11 minus a sub 1 is 11 minus 13 is negative 2. Okay, now for us to know if that, uh, if they have a common difference, we should um, subtract also a sub 3 and a sub 2. So a sub 2, my a sub 3 minus a sub 2 is equal to 9 minus 11 is equal to negative 2. Okay, so from a sub 1 up to a sub g, we can say that there is a common difference. Okay, now let's find if a sub 4 and a sub g also um, have common difference. Common difference. a sub 4 minus a sub 3. So a sub 4 is 7 minus a sub 3 is 9, 7 minus 9 is negative 2. Okay, so the common difference of this sequence, 13, 11, 9, and 7, is negative 2. So we can say that letter A, or example A, is an arithmetic sequence. Okay, because they have the common difference, negative 2. Ito po yung common difference nila. So again, when we say arithmetic sequence, meron po silang common difference. Okay? Nakakasunod po. Okay, so let's uh, proceed to our next example. Okay, so example letter B or our second example. So we have 4 over 5. 8 over 5, 12 over 5, 16 over 5. So what do you, um, do you think plus that um, they share the common difference? Okay, ma'am, paano po namin malalaman yun? Okay, class, in subtracting fraction po, magsusubtract lang po tayo kapag pare-pareho ang denominator. But kapag po hindi sila magkakapareho ng denominator, we need to get their this common denominator. So far, our example shared a common denominator. So we can subtract them. Okay? So using the formula that we used earlier in example number one, pwede po natin yun gamitin yun. So a sub 2 minus a sub 1, a sub 3 minus a sub 2, and a sub 4 minus a sub 3. Okay, so please um, join me on how to solve this, uh, on how to get the common difference of this Okay, so let's try finding the common difference. The common difference. Okay. So we have a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to 8 over 5 minus 4 over 5. Ma'am, paano po natin makukuha yung common difference po nila? Okay, so kapag uh, fraction again, so dahil meron po silang common denominator, ang ipag-subtract lang po natin ay yung numerator. So then copy the denominator. So 8 minus 4 is 4 over 5. Okay, nakakasunod po. Okay, so again, uh, 
kapag po magkapareho po sila ng common denominator, kapag we have a common denominator po sa fraction, okay, um, just copy the denominator and subtract the numerator. Okay, now let's find um, the a sub 3 and a sub 2. If they share the common difference po. a sub 3 minus a sub 2 is equal to 12 over 5 minus 8 over 5. Okay, again, kapag meron silang common denominator, just copy the denominator, then subtract the numerator. So, 12 minus 8 is Okay, so from a sub 1 up to a sub 3, pare-parang po sila ng common denominator, ay ng common difference. So now let's find if a sub 4 minus a sub 3 is, equal, is also equal to 4 over 5. So we have a sub 4 minus a sub 3. I'm so sorry. Okay, so okay lang yan. So a sub 3. Ayan po. Okay, a sub 3 is equal to 16 over 5 minus 12 over 5. Okay, so copy the denominator. Okay, then 16 minus 12 is 4. Okay, so it means po na may, ang letter B, ang example B po natin ay isa siyang arithmetic sequence kasi pare-pareho po sila na pare-pareho po sila pare-pareho po sila ng common difference. Ayan, 4 over 5 and 4 over 5. Hindi na po ang change ng point. Okay, nakakasunod po bang lahat? Okay, so now let's proceed to example letter C. Okay. So let's erase this first. Ayan. So let's proceed the example letter C. Ayan. So letter C, we have one half, one half, okay, one fourth, one sixth, and one eighth. Mom, paano na po yan? Kasi hindi na po silang common, wala na po silang common denominator. Okay, so let's find the LCD of this um, sequence or of this given terms of a sequence. Okay, so now let's proceed. Okay, so we have a sub 2 minus a sub 1 for us to find or for us to get the common difference. Okay, so a sub 2, let's change the color. Okay, so we have a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to 1 fourth minus 1 half. Okay, ma'am. Ayun, common denominator nila. Okay, so kapag po kinukuha natin yung common denominator na nila, we made sure po, we made sure po na dapat divisible sila sa dalawa. Okay, itong dalawa, si 4 at si 2. Okay, so what is their common denominator or what is their least common denominator when we say least? Pinakamababa. Na pwede natin i-divide sa 4 para maging full number siya and pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 2 para maging full number siya. Okay, so the least common denominator is 4. Ma'am, why 4 not 2? Because 4 divided by 4 is 1. But if you use 2 as your common denominator, as your least common denominator, then 2 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Then that is not a full number. Okay? So we use 4 as our common denominator because we can divide 4 to 4 and 4 to 2. Okay? So 4 divided by 4 is 1. Okay? So in... Uh, in okay, so 4 divided by 4 is 1. Okay, so 1 na siya. So 1 times 1 is also 1. Okay, again, in getting the um, common common denominator po half para mag-subtract natin po silang dalawa, okay, we divide the denominator to the LCD that you get. Okay, so 4 
di divide mo siya sa denominator, then multiply it to numerator. Okay, the answer po, yung answer na nakuha nyo sa pag-divide nyo sa list na LCD nyo at saka sa denominator nyo ay imumultiply nyo po siya sa numerator. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Okay, next. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, don't forget the sign. Okay, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Okay, now, pwede na po natin siya isubtract. So, kasi uh, meron na po tayong common factor. Okay, so 1 minus negative 2 is negative 1. Then copy the denominator as 4. So, the difference ay the answer of a sub, a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is negative 1 fourth. Okay, now let's find if um, negative 1 fourth din ba ang makukuha natin kapag sinubchak natin si a, a sub 2 kay a sub 3. Okay, a sub 3 minus a sub 2 is equal to 1 over 6 minus 1 over 4. Okay, now, what do you think is the common difference? Or rather, rather, no, 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 no. What do you think is the common factor or the least common denominator? Rather, the least common denominator. Okay, so pwede natin i-divide si 6 kay 4? No? So, ano po? Si 4, pwede ba natin i-divide kay 6? No? Okay, what do you think? Yung divisible kay 6, divisible din siya kay 4. Okay, so... Ang pinaka-least common denominator natin na pwedeng makuha dyan ay si 12. Ma'am, bakit 12? Because si, si 12 ay si 6, divisible siya ay 12. Si 4, divisible din siya ay 12. Okay, ma'am, hindi ba siya pwedeng 9? No, hindi pwede. Okay, so again, just like what I did earlier, 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, very good. Okay, now let's proceed. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times negative 1, don't forget the negative sign. Okay, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Okay, then copy. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Then copy the denominator, 12. Okay, mag-stop na tayo dyan. Ma'am, bakit po tayo mag stop dyan? As you can see class, negative 1 or and negative 1 over 12 ay hindi po pareho. So, it means that um, example C is not, an, uh, is not an example of an arithmetic sequence. Sequence siya, but it is not an arithmetic sequence. Okay? Okay. So, hindi niya na po kailangan kuhanin si A sub 4 minus A sub 3 kasi pagdating pa lang kay A sub 3 and A sub 2, Okay, hindi na po sila magkapareho sa A sub 2 and A sub 1. Okay, naiintindihan po? Okay, so hindi nyo na po kailangan pahirapan yung sarili nyo. Basta kapag nakita nyo po na hindi na lang magkapareho, yung, kapag nakita nyo po wala na silang common difference, then stop. It means that the sequence is not an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so now let's proceed po sa iba pang example. I hope lahat po nakakasunod. Ayan. So, letter D, A sub N is equal to 1 over N squared. Okay, mom. Paano po yan? Wala siyang given sequence. Now, let's find first this given terms of A sequence. Okay? Just substitute the value of the first term up to fourth term. Okay, hanggang fourth term lang tayo. Ha? Kukuhanin lang po natin yung hanggang fourth term niya. Okay. So, let's... Uh, Let's um, substitute, let's evaluate the given rule or the given um, formula that we have. So we have a sub n is equal to 1 over n squared. Okay, so our first term, our first term or our first n term is 1. Okay, so a sub, wait, wait, wait. Okay, po. so a sub 1 is equal to 1 over 1 squared. Okay? Ma'am, bakit 1 squared na siya? Because 
we substitute the first term to the nth term. Okay, nakakasun po. A sub 1 is equal to 1 over 1 times 1 is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. So the value of A sub 1 is equal to 1. Okay. The value of a sub 1 is equal to 1. Okay, now let's find the next term. Okay, the second term of that sequence. Okay, a sub 2 is equal to 1 over 2 squared. Okay, is equal to 1. 2 times 2 is or Okay, very good. So, 1 over 4 or 1 fourth is the second term of the sequence. So, 1 fourth. Okay, next let's find a sub 3. a sub 3 is equal to 1 over 3 squared. Kahit din yun na po lagi ng parenthesis akin. Okay, so 1 over 3 times 3, okay, hindi siya 3 times 2, okay? So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Okay, so the third term is 1 over 9. Okay, now let's find the last term or the, first, the fourth term of the sequence. A sub 4 is equal to 1 over 4 squared. It's equal to 1. 4 times 4 is 16. So, the last term, kasi hanggang 4 term lang po ang kukuhanin natin. So, the last term is 1 over 16. Now, let's find if they share a common difference. If they share a common difference po. Okay. Titingnan po natin na kung nagsishare pa siya ng common difference. Katulad po ng ginawa natin kanina. I-evaluate muna natin ang ating fraction. Para po makapag Okay. So 1 Okay. A sub 2 minus A sub 1 is equal to 1 over 4 minus 1. Okay. Nagigets? Kung paano po ulit? Katulad ng kanina. Okay. Paano po una natin gagawin? Kukuhanin po natin ang kanilang list common denominator. Okay. What is the least common denominator of these two given terms? The least common denominator of these two is 4. Ma'am, bakit po 4? Okay. Si whole number, di ba si 1? That is a whole number. Okay. Meron po siyang laging denominator na 1. Every whole number ay may denominator po na 1. Okay. So, the common difference po ay 4. Ay, the common difference. No. The least common denominator po is 4. Okay. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Okay? So, 4 divided by 1. May 1 po dyan, ha? Okay. 4 divided by 1 is 4. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. So, 1 minus 4 is negative 3 over 4. Okay, that is the difference of a square and a sub 2 minus a sub 1. Okay, now let's find the difference of a sub 3 minus a sub 2. The difference of a sub 3 and a sub 2. Okay, so we have 1 over 9 minus 1 over 4. Okay, what do you think plus is their common denominator? Okay, the least common denominator of these two numbers. Do you have any idea? Okay. So the least common denominator is 36. So I'm going to use 36. Okay. So 36. So 36 divided by 9 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4. Okay. 36 divided by 4 is 9. 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. Okay. Okay, so next, 4 minus 9 is negative 5 over 36. Do you think class, do you think that uh, 
meron ba silang common din uh, common difference okay ma'am wala okay ma'am bakit po wala okay ma'am bakit po wala ayan wait lang po ah sige ma'am bakit po wala kasi negative 3 fourths and negative 5 over 36 po ay hindi sila pareho. So it means that example D example D is not okay, example D is not an example of arithmetic sequence. Okay, now, alam nyo na kung paano mag-identify or mag-determine if that sequence is an arithmetic sequence or not. Okay? So alam nyo na. So, pwede na po ba tayo mag-proceed sa next example natin? Okay, but before that, I will give you a short activity or short situation. Okay? So, that's all for today, class. Goodbye and God bless.